Hey guys, welcome back to Story of Seasons. Uh, today we are going to try to get enough stuff to build our house. Or fix our house, I guess. It is raining outside. As you can see, ooh, you've got mail. Kita, you have just begun your journey as a farmer. The road ahead is long, but we look forward to witnessing your progress. Accordingly, we present you with the title of Novice Rancher. <laughs> We hope you will make your farm thrive. From the Farming Appreciation Asso Society? Interesting. I did not know such a thing existed. It's kind of like the Happy Home Academy. <laughs> um, okay. So as you can see, we do not have to water our turnips today. Because the rain will do that for us. But we're going to plant some more. I probably should not have planted them here, but oh well. Oh well. Um, <laughs> I probably should have actually planted them all in here, but um, you'll also notice that you get fatigued a lot faster when it's raining. Uh, that's just sort of the way it is. Okay. Well, all I have to do now is actually plant the seeds, and that shouldn't take too much strength. I instinctively think I did it wrong because of how you throw the seeds. You don't really throw them. Uh. Correctly, I guess. <laughs> you throw them away from you and not actually on to the, the land. Okay. Um, so we did that. That's pretty much all we had to do in terms of farm work. Um. Let's try to go to the to the trading area and sell some stuff and look for more uh, logs and stones because we want that barn because we can't have a cow until we have a barn so that is our goal of course most likely what will happen is I will get lost and spend a good chunk of the episode trying to figure out where the hell I am. I wish they played music, because it's like really quiet. I mean, it's just the rainfall. It's very chill. Oh, there's a... L oh, frogs! That's cool! The frogs come out when it's raining. And a flower. Take that flower. There are so many. Come here, froggy. Oh, there's so much stuff going on right now. And by stuff, I just mean there's a bunch of bugs and stuff. Come here, butterfly. I, I just caught, like, so many frogs. That would be cool if I could keep one in my house. But I don't think I can. Oh, there's a log. Butterfly, butterfly. Doesn't Shine Down have a song about a butterfly? Get the wings of a butterfly. Something like that. Okay. Um, actually, we could probably buy some more seeds. The weather is really quite aggravating. No one comes to a shop on a day like this. Oh, okay. I have not been paying attention to what day of the week it is. Uh, Monday through Saturday, so it must be Sunday. Yes, it is. It is Sunday. Okay. Hello, Kita. How's it going? <laughs> oh, there we go. I kinda know what I'm doing. Not really, but kinda. Wait, is this a... Oh, no, that's just an information thing. Is anybody here today? Well, that's butt. So I guess I can't sell stuff today, which is kind of annoying. Um, starting out, it's a little bit slow with the stuff that you can do, but um, you gradually build up, which I mean makes sense. That's most video games, really. So we're gonna have to do that. So how are you guys doing? That's good, unless you're bad, in which case I am sorry. I hope you have a better day, and you're beautiful. How do I know you're beautiful? Because all my viewers are beautiful. That's just how it is. 
That's just how you guys are. Look, I can't help that you're beautiful people. I like that kerchief. It's cool. Thanks, little man. He looks so angry, though, when he says things. What are you doing here, maid? Hello, how are you this fine day? Peachy. Come here. I probably have like 500 of them. Alright, well, I don't think there's anything else for us to do today, so I think we're just gonna go to sleepies. Okay, well, it's nice and sunny today, as you guys can tell by the music. Also, in the upper right hand corner, uh, it shows that it's sunny today. Like yesterday, there was a little umbrella. Oh, we have mail. Silk Country has restocked all the popular items you've been waiting for. Okay, cool. I'm assuming that means they're there today. Wait, let's check the calendar, because I think it said it it shows when... Uh... Uh, yeah, okay. I should have looked at that. Okay, so today and tomorrow, uh, Silk Country will be there. Not the rest of the week, I don't think. Wow. I think we need to trade a lot so that other countries will start trading with us. So that's kind of important. We need to get on that. Okay. Oh, and I also love how it tells you at the bottom of the screen what plant... What plant? Uh, what uh, fruit or vegetable you have planted. See how we have turnips? Uh, it tells us. Very handy. Because otherwise you just kind of had to remember. Or you had to like go into your map and back to nature. I get fatigued really, really fast. I'm wondering if that's because the watering can is old, or if there's any way to increase my stamina, because I know that in Back to Nature you could get power berries. Yeah, power berries. And they would give you a little bit more stamina. It would take longer for you to get fatigued. So we should look into that. And I wonder where we could buy a better watering can or upgrade our watering can. That's probably something that we should figure out. Kind of important. Honeycomb. Honeycomb. This is necessary, so is that. That bunny is very afraid of me, probably because I picked it up in the past. Oh, I'm gonna get you! I'm sorry, I'm assaulting that poor rabbit. But I think you can have bunnies as, as pets. I thought it said that in the manual. Maybe I should go check that again. See, with Back to Nature, um, my friend actually introduced me to that game when, I, when we were like... Gee, I don't know. 10, something like that. So she knew everything about the game already, so she could be like, okay, so do this. Or, like, she knew everything about, like, the characters and, um, the crops and, and basically any, everything. You know, she could just be like, tell me what to do. So I pretty much knew right off the bat, uh, everything that I had to do. But in this game, I'm completely you know, going into this blind and just kind of learning as I go. And though it is very similar to Back to Nature, there are still a lot of differences. So, I'm just kind of, kind of learning. Slowly but surely. Alright, we definitely need to trade today. Uh, let's see how many... I have a lot of bugs from yesterday rice grasshopper. Interesting. Uh, pebbles. Let's put them down. Of them. Okay, and now they are small stones. So we have eight, so we're a little over halfway there. Ooh, moondrop flower. Cool. I could give that to someone. <laughs> Although, 
I don't know how well the guys would like flowers. <laughs> I know a lot of the girls did, if you're trying to woo a girl. Because you could only be a male character in Back to Nature, unless you played more Friends of Mineral Town, which is the Game Boy Advance uh, port. There's Friends of Mineral Town, and then there's more Friends of Mineral Town, and more Friends of Mineral Town, you can be a girl. But you couldn't be in the original. And my axe. Okay, so we have 11 small lumber. So we're very close for lumber. And we just need 8 more small stones. So, getting there, getting there. There's that bird again, or owl. These guys jump like crazy. It's very difficult to catch them. <laughs> I've gotta wait till that flower's fully grown to pick it. That bird does not want to be near me at all. I probably wouldn't want to be near me either if I were a bird. If I were a bird. Oh, uh, the general store should be open. Mm, why don't we go sell our stuff first and then come back to the general store and maybe get some new crops. That sounds like a good idea. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh, there are people here. Dronkov? There's nothing interesting in this town. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not really in charge of that. Oh, it does show you on the map if somebody's there. Okay, that's that's useful. Hi, lady. Princess Jasmine, buy my items. You can buy this stew. Just don't tell Ida. This orange juice. Small car. Who would buy a bee, though? Or weeds. I'm gonna keep my flowers just in case. I'm gonna try giving them to people. See if they'll make them like me. I don't know how to give people stuff. Okay, so we pretty much sold everything, and we have almost sixty-five hundred dollars, which is awesome. Um, let's see what they have for sale. Turnip seeds, rice, okay, all these, like, spices. And crystal. It's often used for fortune telling and psychic visions? What? <laughs> okay, so 5,000 for a chicken and 10 for a cow. But again, I don't, I don't think we have a place for the chicken. I, I think you have to have a chicken coop for that, so we might have to just wait. I came here to see Lily, the, that cute weather girl, you know? Where is she? Okay, well. I'm glad that you came to another country just to see some girl. That's cute. Who are you? Mistel. Oh, that's that girl's brother. He reminds me of Draco Malfoy. <laughs> oh, hey, you're new. Are you the farmer who just moved to this town by any chance? Ah, sorry, forgive my rudeness. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? It's nice to meet you. I'm Mistel. I'll see you around, okay? Okay, dude. Alright, that's another bachelor, guys. Another eligible bachelor. So you're going to have to let me know who we should start wooing. Uh -huh -huh. Who will get our lovely flowers. Oh, let's give him a flower, actually. Uh, and drop flower. Hold. That's probably how you do it. Come here. Here. No. No, I don't want to throw it. No, sir. No, I am throwing you flowers. Here. Is this a present for me? You know it's not my birthday, right? Either way, thank you for the kind thought. I know it's not your birthday. I just want you in bed. Baha. <laughs> no, just kidding. Look, what brings you to the general store today? What do you need? 
items. Old clippers. Ooh, that's for sheepies. It increases the quality of your crops. That could be useful. Turnips, four to five days. Potatoes. Those take six to seven. Hmm. I might actually buy these. And it gives me... Does it give me five? Oh, wow. A tree that bears fruit in the summer takes about a month to bear its first fruit. It continues to bear fruit every three to four days throughout the season. Um, I think I'm actually going to get these and a tree. I guess I only get one potato, one thing of potato seeds for that much. Grass. Food for animals takes two days to harvest and keeps growing for a month after being planted. Fodder. Okay. Oh, rabbit feed. See, you can have a rabbit. You can have a rabbit. I want a rabbit. Actually, I really want an alpaca. That's like my my goal in this game. To get an alpaca. Because they're so derpy and cute looking. I want one. Oh god. I'm in here again. I'm trapped. Oh, I do so love this warmth. Are you saying you peed yourself? Because... I will not woo someone who pees his pants. Have a flower. Is this for me? Well, I'll accept it. Thanks. Okay, he obviously does not like flowers. Uh, cause he did not seem to really... He did not seem to really like that. Um, the other guy liked it a lot more. Hey, a little girl. So you're the new farmer who moved to this town, huh? Not quite how I imagined you. Oh, but where are my manners? I'm Melanie. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, little child. Okay. Where should we plant our tree? How about, like, right next to the house? I think that would look nice. We'll plant our tree. Can I not plant here? Well, that's no fun. I don't want to put a tree here. I guess I don't really have a choice, because I can't put it over there. Well, I could put it over here. Let's do that. Wow, that is a really big thing of land for what that is. Did that even water it? I'm assuming it's watered. It didn't really look like it was, but... Okay. So let's put our potatoes down, too. Yes, I know you're tired. You're always tired. Get over it. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Okay. Just go fill up just so that it's... Alright. Okay, well, uh, we don't have enough stuff for our house yet, but we're getting there. But we did plant some more stuff today, and our turnips should be ready soon, either tomorrow or the next day. So we'll get to harvest those. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.